Hey guys, Alex here with another movie review tonight. It's The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, I just saw this this morning. Um, I will say right now, I wasn't 100% conv convinced that doing a reboot of the series this soon after was a smart idea, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised with how good this movie was. It was really, really good. It was great, even. Um, maybe the best in the, ser in the whole franchise. Um, between this one and Spider-Man 2, I can't decide. But, really great movie, and let's just get into it with pros and cons. Uh, first of all, it is the origin story. It's the story that everyone kind of knows from the either the animated series or comic book or the first movie. But, they really did a nice job of doing a kind of a different take on it. A, a little bit different. Um, you know, little things like how Ben Park or Uncle Ben dies. How he actually gets bitten by the spider. And just, uh, you know, everything like that. And I really like that this take on it. I thought they spent more time developing the characters very nicely. Um, some people were saying like, oh, well, they, they spent like half the, an hour talking about this origin, like nothing happened. It's like, well, that's character development. I think they did a very nice job with the character development in this movie. Uh, I especially enjoyed like the early parts where you see him interacting with his aunt and uncle. I thought that was really nice and like kind of shows, you know, them like interacting as a family. I like that. Um, you saw him interacting with Grin Stacy and I'll get to more of that in a second, but you know, they took their time, and I really like that. I like a movie that takes time to build up characters. You know, the, in you know, y you could say that. Well, you know, they can have another movie like this. Like, well, this is a new franchise. This is supposed to be for people who haven't seen the movie. So, if you haven't seen the mo uh, first series, this is good. Nice development. So, well done for that. Um, all the cast is great. Um, Andrew Garfield is very, very good. I was very impressed with him. I am really liking that actor. I think he's great. Um, I loved him in The Social Network. I liked him in, uh, what was the number he was in? I, it was recent. I don't remember what it is. But I thought he did, set to the play and did a nice job of playing Peter Parker and looked the part and everything. Um, Emma Stone was great, too, as Gwen Stacy. I really liked her a lot. I think she's probably my favorite actress right now. Just haven't seen her in a bad performance yet. Um... Dennis Leary was good. I can't remember who played the lizard, but he was very well, well, uh, very good as well. Martin Sheen was great. I l loved him as Uncle Ben. I thought he was great. Um, the CG was really good too. I really liked the, the action scenes, especially like Spider-Man, like going around the city. I thought they looked good. Some people didn't like him, but I did. I thought the lizard looked very nice. You know, considering the fact it's supposed to be a giant lizard, and I think it actually did look good. Especially like there's one close-up shot of like his, like, you know, you get like a close-up shot of his face, and it just looked awesome. Um, almost kind of like, it made me think of uh, Rise of the Planet Age, just how realistic it looked. It looked really good. Um, and also the fight scenes were fun to watch. Uh, I really got into them. And there's one I especially liked, it was the fight scene in the school, and just the way that um, Spider-Man fought, it fought very much like a spider, like moving very fast-paced, using his web. I just really liked that a lot. I liked the quarry, the cinematography and the, uh, the choreographing of the fight. I really enjoyed those fight scenes. Uh, now the cons. Um, a few of the early scenes where Peter Parker is talking to Gwen Stacy, like the one where he asks him on a her on a date, and the one where he tells her who he is, I just he's just fumbling and you know very very awkwardly and just, it was so annoying. It's just like just fucking say it already. So that was kind of it. And like I understand what they're going for that awkwardness of first meeting someone and obviously no one could just talk to a girl if you you know, been having a crush on for whatever, but still, it, just, it was really annoying, and also, this is probably one of the biggest things that people have a problem with, it was, the trailers for the movie show this whole thing as, like, his greatest secret, you know, you'll reveal his secret of his past or whatever, and they don't, they touch upon it, but they never go into it, in fact, at the very end of the, tr of the movie, in a uh, after credit scene, a character openly says, does he know the secret about his father? And they say no, and just so the whole big secret of Peter Parker isn't revealed in the movie, and it's left for the sequel, which I don't mind. But the fact that the trailers openly talked about having his greatest secret revealed is really gonna piss off a lot of people. Um, so that's just my opinion. And like, if they were gonna do it, they just shouldn't have marketed it that way. But like I said, I don't mind the idea of leaving things open to a sequel, but you know, you could have done it in a different way. But that's about it. Um, all in all, I go to 9.5 out of 10. Very, very good. One or two things that bother me, and I'm sure other people will bitch and complain. I, I see people giving this really bad ratings. Um, 401mania.com and IGN gave it really average ratings, and that that really pissed me off. I think this is a very good, I think very good movie. Definitely worth seeing. 
It's not better than Avengers, but you know what? This is going to hold people over till The Dark Knight comes out, and I cannot wait for that. But that's it for now, guys. Take care. Bye.